All right, one old army guy here. Here's the uh, start of what's going to be my four barrel rain collection. Um, you can see I've already got the holes on them down here and uh, right there, coming on all four. Well, you know, there's three, there's four. What I'm doing on this one here is just a quick um, leak test to make sure that it's not leaking. And where the water is actually coming from right now is out of the uh, the plug not from where it's connected to the barrel. So, uh, you know, this is just the start of it. And uh, I'm going to put these down behind the house, close to the garden, so I've got water to water the garden with. But, uh, you know, I saw a couple of other uh, guys on YouTube with this, this type of collection. It was going to be the manifold style, where it's all going to come in uh, to those pipes there. So I'll equalize between the four barrels. And uh, I'm hoping that it works pretty well. We'll see what happens. This is my first time doing something like this. And, um, you know, what I used was just a one and a, one and a half fitting, similar to this one, but it was threaded right here. And uh, I drilled a uh, hole into the barrel, a little bit smaller than the fitting and then just use a file just to get it down so that the threads would take into the barrel itself. Now I did have to put a little bit of the, the uh, tape on it to get it to stop leaking. The first time I did it, it, it leaked and then I took, I took all the water out, put a plug into it and uh, or took the plug out, tried it again and it, it still continued to leak so I did it yet a, a second time and uh, it seems to Seems to have taken this time, so now I know I got to go a couple times around, uh, around on the on the fitting with the tape. Originally, I was thinking about putting one of these on the inside, uh, just to kind of keep everything secure. You can see on this one, this is the first one I did, and you can see the barrel down, you know, where I put that fitting in. But uh, I don't know. These these seem to work pretty good. Um, it's pretty tight. But once it's got the water in it, uh, it's the same way as you, know, you can see here. And it's it's going pretty good. It's not leaking. It's not leaking from around the fitting. It's leaking from the uh, from the plug here. So uh, I think I've got a good seal on it. Uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be a little bit more. I'm gonna do some more video and progress as this goes along. Uh, I picked these barrels up uh, a couple days ago from a guy on uh, Craigslist. He was gonna use it for floating dock and. Uh, now obviously you can tell they're the ones that have the removable lids, which is what I was looking for. I didn't want the solid barrel. Um, just because, you know, if something goes wrong with the lid, you know, if I screw up, I can somehow maybe find another lid somewhere on Craigslist. So, you know, it's that what if. But anyway, stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to keep this uh, keep this video going along as, uh, as I build it, and this will probably be all part of one long video or a partial. So uh, talk to you soon, YouTube. Alright YouTube, there's one old army guy here and uh, I've finished the rain belt project. Here's the, well I've got one more thing to do. I've got to do the overflow on them. I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm going to put that one on the fourth barrel here and run a three inch pipe along the back here and then out and down. But uh, I did the manifold system. I saw it on the couple other YouTube channels. I can't remember where they are right now. Uh, and I like the idea of it versus tying it in from you know, this being the lead barrel and then overflowing to that one and so on and so on. I like the, the idea that it flows into this one barrel and then uh, balances out between all four barrels. But uh, off, from Off the Grid Survival, I also got the uh, his first flush system here. Uh, I like the idea of that. The only thing I did add to it, you can see right here, uh, is a little bit of screening. And I did that. Uh, also on the top of the barrels for venting, so they've got air for equalization. Um, the reason why I put the screen on it, because we've got a lot of bugs here in Minnesota, and uh, in fact, as you can see right here, i got a little pond that goes behind my house, and uh, that brings a lot of mosquitoes, so um, I wanted to have some way at least that the water would be not contaminated by bugs or used for breeding ground for bugs. Uh, I've got this underneath my deck right here. So it's protected from the sun. Um, I do plan on putting a little fence 
up here, a little eight, piece, eight foot piece up, um, so that it's not visible to the neighbors. Not an eyesore. Nobody wants to look out, sit on their back back deck, and look at uh, four big blue barrels. So um, it's trying to be a little courteous for the neighbors, and I'm going to build a little wall around. That'll be the next thing. Now it is a little lower uh, than I would have liked to have. I would have to have. I would have liked to have had two bricks under or four bricks, I should say, under each barrel instead of the two that I've got to give it that extra height. So when I add the hose to it, I could actually cut on here and put a uh, five-gallon bucket if I needed to. But uh, my plan is just to put a hose on here and uh, use it for watering our garden and plants and whatnot. But uh, in worst-case scenario, I probably could use the water for uh, for cleaning Whatnot. I don't think I would actually use it uh, for drinking. Um, probably could, although I do have a uh, standard shingles roof, you know, made from petroleum-based products. Don't know exactly how safe that would be, uh, but I could probably go through and uh, still use it if I really, really needed to. If that was our last resort for water. But uh, this is just the update. What I did here um, for the venting, I took a three-quarter inch threaded piece of PVC connector and uh, put a clamp on it with a piece of just regular screen from a from a screen door and just made a nice vent on there just enough so there's lots of air going in and out but uh, bugs can't get into it and then over on this end uh, I got rid of the, the standard bung and put this stop in just so that if I wanted to I could take a peek down inside um, without having to have a $50 bung wrench, uh, which I just thought was insane. Um, so I got those out and put those stoppers in instead. The other thing you'll see that I did here, instead of cutting a hole into the barrel, I used the uh, two inch threaded P PVC into it and angled it up and then ran that pipe up and in. Now it took a little bit of a uh, little bit of planning to get it in there. Uh, I was off on the angle a couple times, but uh, I got it. It looks pretty darn good. I think I'm I'm pretty pretty happy with the with the outcome of it. So, like I said, there's the the first flush. Um, in case you don't know what this does, this right here is a four is four feet and holds about just shy of two gallons of water. But what it's going to do is going to catch all the dirty water, the first the first flush of the water, that will have the dust particles and the pollen and all that, and that'll run down into into here. There's a water bottle in there. It'll come up as it fills up. It gets to this choke point right here, which is a two inch. Well, it went from three inch to two inch. That'll stop, and then the extra extra water will fill up, and will drain back down here and into my barrel. So I should have clean clean water going into the barrels. Now I have not tested this yet, as we have not had rain here. Uh, they're calling for rain for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I did do a quick leak test on it. I've got a couple of spots, but I'm, I'm going to put some silicone on those and hope that everything turns out okay. But uh, that's my latest project. It took me a couple of days to do it to get it all done. Uh, I'm quite familiar with Home Depot and the, and the PVC plumbing section now, but uh, it was a lot of fun and something just for doing. I did pick up the barrels on Craigslist. I got them. Um, I know there's some places you can get them. You can get them cheaper. Uh, uh, another guy on on YouTube, he got them from the from Coke distributor, and I think that's a great great way to do it. His were clear or white, uh, which I would have liked to have had, but uh, couldn't get white once I could only get the blue. So you get what you get, and you go forward. But uh, there it is. Um, we'll see how it works out here in the next couple of days. Hopefully, when we start spring, we'll be able to get back down here and uh, do another short video on uh, how it's looking. As for now, one old army guy signing off.